Welcome to the channel The Practical Study. Guys, today we are going to calculate how much steam can be produced by the base heat of 1 megawatt genset or gas generator. Or in other words, we can also say how to design waste heat recovery boiler size. Before moving ahead, it is to request you please subscribe our channel and press the notification bell so that you can find more interesting videos in future. Before moving to the calculation, first of all, we understand the concept of waste heat recovery boiler. For example, we have a gas generator of 1 megawatt. Then by supplying gas to this gas generator, we will uh, get electricity at output and also as a byproduct, we will get the hot air exhaust at a temperature of 430 degree centigrade, which is wastage of heat. But the question is, how can we use this heat? The answer is boiler, or you can say the better answer is waste heat recovery boiler. How we can install this waste heat recovery boiler on the exhaust of a gas generator? Simply by two way valve on the exhaust of gas generator, this waste heat recovery boiler will be installed on the exhaust line. So this two-way wall will allow the exhaust gas to move only into the boiler but not into the air. So in this way, we will use the hot exhaust air heat and we will convert this heat into the steam. So I think we understand the concept of waste heat recovery boiler. but what we need to do, we need calculations that how much steam can be produced by the exhaust of 1 megawatt generator or how to decide the size of waste heat recovery boiler. Let's move to the calculations. First of all, we select Gen Barker 1 megawatt engine which data we will use for calculations by the technical data sheet of gas generator of 1 megawatt GMS 320JS NL, we will find out the two parameters. Number one, exhaust gas mass flow rate in kilogram per hour, that is 5680, and also exhaust gas temperature at full load, that is 427 degrees centigrade. So the extractive data, we have two important parameters. Number one, exhaust gas mass flow rate, that is 5680 kg per hour and exhaust gas temperature at full load that is 427 degree centigrade. We need to know the total amount of heat which is available in hot exhaust gas and we can find it out by using a simple formula Q is equal to MC delta T. Okay, where M is the mass flow rate of exhaust gas that is 5680 kg per hour which is given in the technical data sheet of gas generator. C is the constant value specific heat capacity of hot air which can be uh, easily calculated by, uh, by the given chart in thermodynamic book. Uh, but we need to know the temperature. Temperature is 427 degree centigrade by converting this degree centigrade into Kelvin we get 700 Kelvin. So at the 700 Kelvin the value of specific heat of air is 1.075 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So specific heat of exhaust gas is equal to 1.075 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So we have mass flow rate, we have specific heat capacity, we have the temperature T2 and the temperature T1. So Moving to the solution where M is equal to 5680 kg per hour, C 1.075 kJ per kg Kelvin, we find out by the uh, thermodynamic book chart and T2 is 427 degree centigrade which is given in the technical data sheet of gas generator, T1 is the temperature of intake air which is 30 degree centigrade, let's suppose. You can uh, put your own value if your ambient temperature is less than 30 degree centigrade or your intake air temperatures, uh, a better word is to intake air temperature is less than 30 degrees centigrade. 
so you can put your own value but i am taking for the average uh, calculation 30 degrees centigrade so putting all the values i get 2424082 kilojoule per hour so this is the amount of heat which is available in the exhaust of gas generator but the question is either all this heat will be converted into steam no it depends on the efficiency of boiler for example my efficiency of boiler waste heat recovery boiler is 80% then the available heat will be the 80% of this heat so we can say that the available heat which will be converted into the hot water uh, in order to convert that hot water in, into steam in the boiler will be 1939266 kilojoule per hour so we can say that the usable heat of exhaust is equal to 1939266 kilojoule per hour so this is the amount of heat which can be converted into steam now the question is how much heat is required to produce 1 kg of steam so we first need to calculate this let's say we are giving hot water to boiler at 90 degree centigrade so the enthalpy of hot water at 90 degree centigrade from table is 377 kJ per kg here is the temperature 90 degree and this is 377.04 kJ per kg is enthalpy and similarly the enthalpy of steam at 8 bar i am uh, producing steam at 8 bar if you are producing at different pressure you can find out the different value from the chart which is given at the end of thermodynamic books so at 8 bar the enthalpy of steam is 2768 so the total heat required for 1 kg of steam will be by uh, by the difference of enthalpy of steam and enthalpy of hot water so we get 2391.3 kJ per kg so 2391.3 is the amount of heat which is required to produce 1 kg of steam so waste heat recovery boiler capacity and how much steam we can produce we can easily get by dividing the usable heat of exhaust or heat which is available uh, uh, for uh, converting into steam by dividing it heat required per kg of steam so available heat is 1939266 kJ per hour and the heat required to produce 1 kg of steam is 2391 by dividing these two values we will get the waste heat recovery boiler capacity 810 kg per hour or in other words you can say that by installing a waste heat recovery boiler on the exhaust of 1 megawatt gas generator you will get 810 kg per hour of steam so 1 megawatt gas generator will give you 0.810 10, 0.810 of steam or 810 kg per hour of steam so this was our today's video i hope you guys like this video and if you guys like this video please please share in your comments so that we can find your feedback